Welcome to the warm-up. We are at Ottawa Glendorf. This edition of the warm-up is presented by Coles Market, and I am joined by the OG head coach in his 20th season here with the Titans, Ken Schreiner. Ken, thank you for letting us come out to practice. It's a beautiful day for football, isn't it? It is. A beautiful day out here. You know, we've, we got a little bit of rain last night, but things are starting to dry out, and hopefully we have a better second practice. First practice didn't go so well this morning. They're never good enough. You gotta get them early, get them out here early and ready to go, right? You know, it, it, everything's a work day, and uh, you know, hopefully our guys realize that every single opportunity we get to be on the field, we need to work hard and get a little bit better. Well, I want to hear more about how practice is going this year, but first, let's take a look back to last season, eight and two, just missed out on the playoffs, but a very strong season. What do you take away from your 2014 campaign? Well, our motto going into last year was never let good enough be enough, and it wasn't enough. You know, eight and two was a, a good season. I think our kids worked hard. Unfortunately, we weren't able to make the, the playoffs, and I think hopefully that left a bad taste in this group's mouths, and uh, we're going to work a little bit harder to get a little bit better and hopefully get that opportunity this year. So looking forward to this year now. What, who are you returning, and who are the guys you're looking to fill that leadership void that was left by the graduating seniors? You know, we don't have a whole lot of starters back on paper. Uh, we do have a lot of guys with game experience, and uh, hopefully that helps us and, uh, you know, can lead us into the season. Uh, Zach Underbrink, our quarterback, is back. Aaron Riemann was back as an offensive lineman. Uh, Logan McDermott played running back for us last year. He's back. He's back, at, and we're probably going to move him to receiver, it looks like. Uh, right now, Noah Recker's back as a uh, as a linebacker, and uh, Bryce Utrecht is back as a linebacker as well. Those are really the only starters that we have on paper that are returning. But you know, we've got a number of guys that have game experience, and uh, hopefully that pays off for us in the long run. So early on in this camp, have you seen those guys taking on more of a leadership role and leading? It looks like there's a big group of freshmen out there. I saw when I was out there, are they taking on that role and leading the younger guys? You know, we need leadership across the board. These guys that have the playing experience, we do expect them to step up and do good things for us. And uh, one of the challenges for us is we need them to be a little bit more vocal. I think one of the things that we do so often is, you know, we try and do our own job and we try and get better individually. But, you know, football is one of those games where uh, you've got to do a little bit more. You've got to make sure the guy side you is lined up correctly that he's doing his assignment as well as you doing yours so the challenge is always there defense was such a strong suit for your team last year I think there was four games where you gave up seven points or fewer how do you repeat that success this year well, I, I think the, the the biggest thing is the aggressiveness. I think our defensive coordinator uh, Brian Heaps does such an outstanding job of of identifying what the offenses are doing and getting our guys into the, the best position for our for our team to be successful. And you know, bottom line is you got to be great tacklers. You got to be aggressive in what you do. And uh, you know, our kids have to be coachable. I think they're doing an outstanding job of accepting what we're doing. We're constantly making changes, constantly making adjustments. Right now, it's awful early. Right now, it's uh, you know, try and learn things and try and see what you can do. And you know, once we start hitting and once the contact happens, then uh, we'll get a little bit better feeling of what, what our guys can do and where, where they can play. Prior to getting in the pads, I'm assuming there was some seven on sevens for, for this group. What did you see out of them there? You know, it's a, it's a challenge. You know, it's, it's not real football to me. And uh, I think the biggest thing that I'm looking for is competition, guys going out and competing with each other. And, you know, I think defensively it's probably better for us than offensively. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, you've got to make sure that you put your guys in a competitive situation every opportunity you get. You know, we went over to Liberty Benton for a, a big tournament. We had a couple that we a couple of times that we threw here on our home field. But uh, just going out and competing and seeing what guys are going to be playmakers for us, what guys can, can handle the ball, what guys can, you know, step up in good situations and, you know, really shine. And that's what we're looking for is those guys to step up without a whole lot of experience back, without a whole lot of starters back. We're just looking for guys that, you know, we feel like we can count on, especially early on here. Got a scrimmage scheduled against St. Henry on August 21st, and then the opener at home against Oak Harbor. What are you hoping to get out of that scrimmage, see your guys take on an opponent in pads before week one? You know, be physical. That, to me, is the game of football, is, uh, you know, the challenge of going out and being physical right off the bat. Uh, our first scrimmage is with Perrysburg up at Perrysburg, and, uh, and then we scrimmage with St. Henry. Both of those scrimmages are always good, solid scrimmages, you know, teams that are very athletic with a lot of success. And, uh, you know, you're looking for your guys to, to go out and compete, and, and that's a, a theme for us, just to go out and raise your level and, uh, you know, when the opportunity is there to get a little bit better and, and prove that you want to play on Friday nights. Now for you specifically 20 years in, what satisfaction do you take out of watching a team grow and, and throughout the course of the season start here in training camp and then see you know eight wins at the end of the year and you're used to being in the playoffs as well? What does that mean to you? 
you know, every year is a different group. And, you know, one of the challenges for us as coaches in the off season is to identify the strengths and weaknesses of your team and, you know, to sit down and, and try and make a game plan and, and find out what things you feel like you're going to be able to do and what things you're not going to be able to do. And when that plan comes together, that's, that's exciting for a coach. And, you know, we always have that challenge ahead of us. It's always a unique group. You know, one group is a little bit more talkative. One group's a little bit more, you know, relaxed. And, uh, you know, this, this is a group that, you know, it's, 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 it's going to remain to be seen what, what, what they do. I'm not real sure if they're a gamer group. I'm not sure if they're, you know, going to practice hard for us. So, you know, it's a work in progress. And I think the challenge for the, for the coaches is we have identified, we've been together a long time. My staff's been together for a long time. I've got a great group of coaches that really enjoys the game, enjoys being around the kids. And, uh, you know, we're going to challenge them every day and, and hopefully we get success at the end of the season. Oh, well, it must be exciting to see what kind of identity the team will take on. Right now, what do you think this team's biggest strength is? Our, our biggest strength is probably our athleticism. Hopefully it's our offense um, with throwing the ball. I think we progressed last year with what we did, having a quarterback back with experience. Uh, Zach had a great amount of success last year. Hopefully that's something that we can do, but we've also identified that we need to be able to run the ball to be successful. So we're trying to concentrate on that a little bit more this year. Uh, we're throwing a number of various formations out there, and I think we have good, intelligent kids that can be in right po position and um, hopefully make plays. And in a WBL schedule with nine games, those are all important qualities to have. What do you enjoy about playing in the Western Buckeye League? And, and this year, I'm assuming it's going to be a grind like any other year. You know, we expect every team to compete. I, you know, if you ask anybody right now who the front, front runners are, um, you know, I'm not sure you really can identify a front runner. I think it's a wide open, and uh, that's the way you like it. I think you've got to go out and perform right off the bat. You've got to go out and, you know, prove yourself early in the, in, in the season. I always say early success is going to go, go a long way. So, you know, we're concentrating right now on Oak Harbor. Uh, you know, right off the bat, we have bath game two. We got to make sure that we're prepared for those games and, you know, see what happens. It's going to be, you know, who improves as the season goes and who gets better and, uh, you know, whose kids are there at the end. You know, you got to make sure that you're sound in what you do. Hopefully you don't have to deal with too many injuries and, uh, you know, see what happens. Kenton and Wapak were the two losses last year. I know you're focused on week one and I doubt you're looking ahead, but just going to ask you anyway, is, there, is that a circled game on your schedule at this point or not yet? Not yet. You know, this is, uh, we're too, we're too young right now. I think our, our team is, is going to focus on what we can take care of right now. Those games are later on in the year. Uh, we haven't had a whole lot of success recently with Walpock and, and with Kenton, but uh, we know if we start looking at them, we're going to get beat up and, uh, by the time we get there. So, you know, it's it's take one game at a time. You guys always love those cliches. We'll let you guys talk about that <laughs> yeah, in the media. That's our job. Yeah, that's, that's right. our job. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us, Ken. It's time for a break here on the warm-up presented by Coles Market. When we return, Mark Kuntz will be joined by a couple of Titan players to chat about the upcoming season. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Coles Market. I'm Mark Kuntz as we continue with the Ottawa Glendorf Titans talking with a couple of seniors, Aaron Ryman and Zach Underbrink. And Zach, looking back on last year, second straight year, OG failed to make the playoffs. I suppose at this point you guys are pretty sick of being home at Week 11 after making the postseason eight years in a row heading into the last two. Yeah, last year was especially tough because we went eight and two. We had a good year, but we just fell short by one spot to make it to the playoffs. Aaron, last year that offense put up over 30 points a game, tied in the Western Buckeye League for the highest scoring offense in the league. Do you think that the offense will be similar this year, be able to put some points on the board? I mean, I'm, I surely hope. We're progressing every day in practice, even though we've just been doing seven on seven. Hopefully here in the next couple weeks, throughout two days, getting the pads ready, we see a pickup in the run game and more balanced threat. Now, we, we know Coach, an old offensive lineman, doesn't necessarily care too much for the seven-on-seven -seven drills, but it's something that you can do during the summer. What do you get, guys get out of the seven-on-seven -seven drills? Well, I'd say it's more about uh, gelling as a team and just building relationships that we need on Friday nights and throughout the whole season. Zach, you look back on last year's offense, as we mentioned, 30 points a game. Did that surprise you, the production the offense was able to put out last year? Yeah, we uh, right from the beginning we were putting up big big numbers and never slowed down. You know, at the, at the beginning of the season we were mostly pass. As the season wore on, our line started to get better and uh, we started to run the ball a lot better and it gelled real good. A couple of weeks away from that opener against Oak Harbor, though, but what are you most looking forward to with that Week One game? 
getting back out there and uh, having fun, making memories. Aaron, what memories do you hope to make this season? Uh, you know, just big hits, winning some big games. Uh, couple last year we played Elida and we kind of fired up in the second half and came back from 21 points. So I guess that'd be nice to have a couple more of those. Or a couple of weeks before that first game, what do you need to work on the most between now and then? Probably physicality, setting the pads more. All right, we're going to take a break here on the warm-up presented by Coles Market. We come back more from the Titans here at Ottawa Glendale. Auto Glandorf Titans, the focus of the warm-up presented by Coles Market. We are joined now by Noah Recker and Bryce Utrip, two more seniors for Ken Schreiner's team. And Bryce, how did the summer go for you guys? You know, it was good. Our seven on seven was very uh, good. Everything went good. Worked out the uh, passing kinks and everything went pretty good. Noah, how eager you guys to get out there and, and now start playing for real and starting to hit each other in a few oh, days. We're ready to get the pads on and it's going to be great to get back out there on the field and uh, making some big plays. You look at the Western Buckeye League this year, Coach kind of said he, he thought it was a little bit wide open. Where do you kind of see the, the WBL this year, Noah? Oh, just like he said, I think we could place in the, one of the top contending teams out there to win the WBL. I think we've got the right athletes to do it and uh, just got to make everything fall into place. Bryce, last year, Zach Unterbrink was, uh, made the Western Buckeye League just as a junior. The way he developed as a quarterback, did that take you guys by surprise a little bit? Uh, kind of. I mean, we knew, all knew he was going to be really good, and he was fighting for that spot with Dan Gotzel last year, and he just played his heart out and did a great job leading our team this year, that last year. Coach kind of mentioned he thinks you guys are a young team, but not necessarily an inexperienced team. You don't necessarily have a lot of starters coming back, but a lot of guys played. I think that's seeing the, the, the seeds maybe of a program that Coach has built here for 20 years where you've got guys that are coming up playing JVs, getting plenty of time, and are able to step up and make it as a senior class. How eager are you to, to bring OG back to the postseason, uh, Bryce? Oh, well, I'm excited. I mean, it's going to be nerve-wracking seeing what our seniors can do this year because we don't really have that much playing time, but I'm excited to see what we can do. Noah, what makes this group of seniors special? Uh, we've been playing together for a long time, and I mean, I, we haven't played long at the varsity level together, but these guys, we all know each other. We're all great friends, and I think we're going to work really well together out there. Noah, what do you think the strength of this year's team is going to be? I think our strength is our friendship. We've got a great bond. Uh, got to work on the communication a little bit, but I think we're going to be really good playing together, and I think we're going to have some fun. Bryce, outside of communication, what needs to improve between now and that Oak Harbor game? I think our defense needs to improve a little bit more. We only have two returning starters, so it's going to be we got to fill all those spots. When you look at the WBL, are games you've got circled that you're looking forward to? No, I'm just going to take it week by week. Noah? I've got Walpaw on my list. We just barely lost to him last year, and I... I've got a little bit of a chip on my shoulder from that one. Barely lost to Wapak. Week before that, you lost to Kent. The only two losses of the season. It cost you guys a postseason berth. How much motivation is there from those two losses? Oh, there's a ton. Time? You know, the offseason had a bunch of – we spent a lot of time in the weight room, had a lot of fire, and hopefully we can just come out there this year and make it. All right, the OG Titans with plenty of firepower this year. Of course, we'll have a couple of OG games on WOSN, including the contest against Shawnee and the home contest here at Titan Stadium against Wapkinetta. I want to thank all of our guests today on the warm-up presented by Coles Market. For Matt Finkel, I'm Mark Hoots. See you next time on WOSN.